Namaste. So today the topic we are discussing is how to handle toxic people. Um, <laughs> how to handle toxic people is this is a judgment. And uh, one thing about a spiritual person is that you should not be judgmental. When you say somebody is toxic, somebody else can say the same thing about you. And I feel when you say somebody is toxic, somewhere there's an underlying message there that you consider that person toxic because that person does not listen to you or does not agree with you or you have a little bit of argument all the time with that person and this goes on adding 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 and at some stage there is no communication between you and him or you don't like that person her him whoever whatever then you claim that person is a toxic person the other person also can say the same thing about you it's a toxic relationship i agree if you are in a toxic relationship you have to do something about it that i agree if it has reached that stage where you feel it is a toxic relation, the other person feels it's a toxic relation, there are toxic people around you. But when you say you are toxic or somebody is toxic, which means you're passing a judgment on that person. And the judgment being that why you pass a judgment, why you so judgmental? Because that person don't doesn't do things according to the way you want or expect them to be done. That's when a judgment goes. When is it when you start judging? Like somebody, for example, um, wear certain type of clothes which doesn't suit that person. Uh, for example, somebody's plump and wears clothes which doesn't go well with that plump body and you say, oh God, can't she understand or can't she can't he understand? What kind of clothes is he wearing It doesn't even suit that person? This is a judgment. Now, how does it concern to you whether it suits that person or no? It's just your way of looking at it. Nobody's asked you to wear it. You don't wear it. But if the other person is comfortable in whatever he or she is doing, who are you to comment on it? This is passing a judgment. Or even the idea, a thought, <clears throat> how can she get angry so often? Why is she so jealous? Why is she always so with an attitude? One passes these kind of comments on people when we meet them. Now, why do you feel that other person has an attitude? Now that person is probably friendly with 10 other people. They don't think she has an attitude. You think she has an attitude. Now, this why this is happening? Because maybe you don't like the way uh, she is. Maybe you don't like the way she talks. Maybe the, you don't like the way because of X, Y, Z reasons. So you feel she has an attitude. Actually, that person may not have an attitude, need not have an attitude or doesn't have an attitude. You are perceiving it in your through your glasses and you feel she has an attitude. This is a judgment. Now, when you meet anybody through a judgment, through a thing that somebody has told you, this is again another thing. Now, suppose um, you're meeting Mr. X and I know that Mr. X very well. And I tell you, listen, you're meeting Mr. X, be very careful. This person is a very Shana person, very smart. He will rope you on your little finger and he's a very shrewd guy. Okay, so your mind is tainted already. You're meeting that person with all these thoughts that I have told you about him. Correct? So your vision is already shadowed. It's already biased. So when you approach that person, you have all these thoughts and you're on your guard all the time. And you are saying any line or any sentence that person says, ah, there you go. This guy is very shrewd. This guy is trying to act funny with me. Why? Because it's something which has already gone in your in your head and you're watching or looking at that person with those glasses to begin with. So this is a judgment. And then this gets reiterated more and more as the conversation goes on and you pass that judgment. I am not going to deal or meet Mr. X ever again. He is like this, like this, like this, like this. The relationship here has become toxic. Because of whom? Because of you. It's not because of the other person. Mr. X may not be like this. It is my perception that he is like this. This is my perception. Why do you have to go with my perception? And this is a thing we all the time do. And this is the strain between relationships that we have. 
Now, if you don't have a good relationship with someone in your house or in your space, ask yourself, are you perceiving that person from your vision or your experiences? Is that person actually like that? Ask somebody else who likes him very much or her very much. That person is not perceiving this person like that. You are. So what is the problem? And who has the problem? absolutely right if the problem is with you you are looking at that person with those glasses and we have done this all our lives now what i want you to check is check your relationships with people whom you don't get along with write down i don't like this about a person i don't like that about this person i don't like this about this person and see how how many things you have in your mind about the other person ask yourself am i perceiving that person in this fashion that person may not be like this you will mend a lot of your relationships if you do this change your glasses that you're wearing and this is what i call a transformation i'll tell you a story i have told this in my one of my earlier episodes but uh, maybe you don't know um, the story goes as is this this Buddhist monk who is passing through a village. Who in the village there is a big king and he always has his a uh, very powerful king and all everything happens in the villages according to the wish of the uh, king. So the king comes to know that there is this monk passing by. So he said, let me invite this monk and let me treat him and feed him and etc etc. So he invites him. He makes him stay uh, in his palace for a couple of days, looks after him, feeds him, gives him, gives this, that and the other. So the monk says, what do you want? So the king says, I want to acquire all the land around me, the, the states around me, and I want to be a very, very rich person. I want to do something like that. I want to be very powerful. So the monk says, okay, we'll do that. But for a month, now what you do is for a month, Whatever you see should be green in color. You do that. Wherever you set your eyes on, everything should look green. He said, oh, that's very easy. I can do that. So the king passes an order and uh, 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 changes his color of his room, of his curtains. All the, the whole palace is green. He paints all the roads green, all the buildings green. The whole village is green in color. After a couple of months, the monk visits this uh, king again and says, uh, what is all this? What have you done? So he says, you told me that whatever I see has to be green. <laughs> so the monk takes a pair of green shades, green, green glasses and gives it to him. He said, wear this, you will see everything green. I hope you have understood what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is, you have to change if you want to see green, you wear the glasses. Don't change the outside. Don't change the external part. You have to change. So if you comment on somebody that this is a toxic relationship or he's a toxic person or she's a toxic person, where does the finger go? Who does the finger point to? You. So I'm not saying you are toxic, but you have to, if you say this, that I am in a toxic relationship, Ask yourself, what is going wrong with you? What is the problem inside? Why are you calling this person uh, toxic? Something about that person you don't like and you don't want that person to be like this and you want that person to change. That's not going to happen. And don't term the relationship or a person as a toxic person. This is being judgmental. Ask yourself. There is no one who is toxic, nor you, nor the other. It is your perception and what I'm coming to is you have to change your perception and that is what I mean by transformation. The inner you has to change. Okay, thank you very much. Please check yourself always before you comment on somebody else. Namaste. Thank you.